गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंडस्ट्री एंड नॉलेज आई एम शशांक सिंह प्रोजेक्ट इंजीनियर इन इंजेक्शन मोल्डिंग यूनिट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक नेम्ड एज इंजेक्शन मोल्डिंग एंड द लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजीज इन फर्दर वीडियोज वी विल डिस्कस द वेरियस टाइप ऑफ इंजेक्शन मोल्डिंग मशीन मोल्डिंग टूल टाइप्स ऑफ गेट एंड इट्स फंक्शन एंड देन वी विल डिस्कस अदर मोल्डिंग प्रोसेस लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस वॉट इज मोल्डिंग प्रोसेस नाउ मोल्डिंग प्रोसेस इज अ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस इन विच अ मटेरियल इज मेल्टेड बाय यूजिंग वेरियस मीन्स लाइक टेम्परेचर प्रेशर एट एक्स्ट्रा एंड इट इज यूज इन रिजिट फ्रेम ऑफ अ डिजायर्ड शेप एंड and allow it to cool to get desired product now let discuss various types of plastic molding there are basically five types of plastic molding that are most most popular injection molding extrusion molding compression molding blow molding and rotational molding today we will discuss only injection molding and injection molding technologies but before that let discuss what is injection molding injection molding is a manufacturing process for producing parts by injection molten material into a mold injection molding is widely used for manufacturing a varieties of parts from the smallest component to the entire panel of car now discuss about the types of injection molding technologies there are basically five injection molding technologies which are currently used thin wall molding gas assisted injection molding metal injection molding liquid silicon injection molding and 3d printing let's discuss thin wall molding it is a specialized form of conventional injection molding that focus on a mass production in this the parts are made which are very thin and light This process is used to manufacture thin and light parts at on a low cost by reducing cycle time. In this, the thickness of a plastic parts lies in between 0.6 to mm to 200 mm. These parts are used in food packaging as well as in automotive sector and in medical field too. Now coming to the gas assisted injection molding. It is a molding process where an inert gas is introduced at a pressure pushing the plastic melt into the mold at the end of polymer injection phase. Here the pressurized gas introduced into the melt via specialized nozzle and this maximizes resin flow to the furthest extreme the mold and into the difficult to reach section of the part. It is used for producing large panels, strong parts with hollow section such as handles door pull handles etc now coming to the metal injection molding metal injection molding is a metal working process in which a finely powdered metal is mixed with a binder material to create a feed stock then it is shaped and solidified using injection molding the molding process allow high volume complex part to be shaped in a single step it is basically used to make a very complex part in a single step by reducing cycle time so that the volume which will be produced will be maximum now coming to the liquid silicon injection molding injection molding of liquid silicon rubber is a process to produce pliable durable parts in a high volume low chance of contamination and a quick cycle time now coming to the 3d printing 3d printing also known as additive manufacturing is a process by which physical objects are created by depositing material in a layer based on a digital model these digital model are the cad model on the basis of which the material the parts will be drawn by the help of melted plastic now let's discuss what are the material which are used in injection molding we basically use nylon that is pa6 pa66 that is nylon 66 nylon 6 polycarbonate compact discs are very durable now we use palm ps 
ABS, PP, PE and they are the various manufacturer also who are producing these material like Lensex, BSF, Exomobile etc. Thank you.